In nature, it's often the smallest things that are the most impressive. Put thousands of ants together and they can do truly remarkable things. In some ant species, millions link together to create giant nests 30 foot tall. And to do this, they have an astonishing communication system. They can direct the whole colony to food or nest sites and even suggest the quickest route to get there. So if some don't make it, it doesn't matter, the rest will. And yet one ant on its own is such a simple creature and that's given scientists a big idea. Jeff Goff is an electrical engineer at Southampton University. He wondered if he could use ant behaviour to create robots for use in search and rescue. In a search and rescue scenario, um, swarm robots can work together to cover a large area uh, and if half of them get damaged or broken or lost, um, the remaining ones can work together and the problem can still get solved. So they set out to try and make a robotic ant and started with the fact that ants follow very simple rules. And the Romsey line dancers are here to show a couple of them. The first rule stops ants bumping into each other when carrying food or nest material. Ant law says that anyone carrying food has right of way, so the food gets back to the nest as quickly as possible. Food carriers also give off chemicals called pheromones, so the next rule is to find food, follow the pheromone trail. By trying to recreate simple rules like these, Jeff and his colleague Rob Spanton have created their own electronic colony. Meet RoboAnt, the robotic ant of the future. And these are all the hard-working and hungry RoboAnt friends. They've been programmed to find food and push it towards a light. It looks like mayhem. It's, it's all completely random movements, but what exactly is happening here? OK, well, they are driving randomly at the moment uh, until they find um, one of these little tokens which represents food. Once they uh, encounter a bit of food, they use their light sensors to steer, navigate towards the light. And they've even programmed some rather complex ant communication. These robots can beam messages to each other about when they last found food. This is very like real ants where they communicate by tapping antennas together. In, in an ant colony, they'll use that to decide who's going to clean up the nest or who's going to go and forage for food. And because these electronic ants need battery power, they've even been programmed to head back to the nest when they need a recharge, whilst the rest can get on with the job. Knowing what you know about building a, a robotic ant, when you look at an ant colony, a sort of beautifully functioning, well-communicating ant colony, how do you feel? Uh, a, little, a little embarrassed in a way, because um, it's, it's clear that ants are uh, way more complex than the things that we can build at the moment. But in the future, thousands of these little robots could be put to work after an earthquake, helping to find survivors. There's even talk they could swarm over the surface of Mars to explore every nook and cranny. But there's another, slightly more down-to-earth application. They could also be used to cordon off a lane on the motorway when a car's broken down. That's probably a few years away yet, but in true one-show fashion, we have an early prototype for you. Check this out. 